How to get rid of human urine smell, detailed guide. Oh no, not again. The unmistakable smell of human urine is lingering in the air and it's driving you crazy. Don't worry, you're not alone in this battle. With the right tools and a bit of elbow grease, you can wave goodbye to that pesky urine smell and hello to a fresh and clean smelling space. So, get ready as we guide you on how to get rid of human urine smell once and for all. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! Step 1. Locate the source of the smell. This is an important step because it allows you to focus your cleaning efforts on the specific area where the urine is present, rather than trying to clean the entire room or house. Human urine smell can come from a variety of sources, including 1. A dirty toilet If the toilet is not cleaned regularly, urine can build up and create an unpleasant odor. This is particularly true if the toilet is not used frequently or if someone has been ill and using the toilet more than usual. 2. A leaky pipe Urine can leak from pipes and create a smell in the surrounding area. This can happen if a pipe is cracked or if there is a problem with the seal around the toilet. 3. A soiled mattress or carpet Urine can soak into a mattress or carpet if someone has an accident, particularly if the person is incontinent or has a medical condition that affects bladder control. 4. Clothing or fabric Urine smell can be transferred from an affected cloth to other clothing or fabric if not properly cleaned after an accident. It's important to examine the room where the smell is coming from, check the toilet, pipes, and floors, and also inspect any furniture or other items that may have come into contact with urine. Step 2. Clean the affected area thoroughly. This step is crucial for removing the urine stain and neutralizing the smell. Different cleaning solutions can be used for this purpose, including 1. A mixture of warm water and white vinegar. Mix equal parts of warm water and white vinegar in a spray bottle and apply it to the affected area. The acidity in the vinegar helps to neutralize the smell and break down the urine. 2. A mixture of baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. Mix 1 cup of baking soda with 1 cup of hydrogen peroxide in a bowl. Apply this mixture to the affected area and it will work as a natural cleaner and deodorizer. Step 3. Allow the cleaning solution to sit for several minutes. Carrying out this step allows the cleaning solution time to penetrate the urine stain and neutralize the odor. When the cleaning solution is applied, it starts to work on breaking down the urine and neutralizing the odor. The longer it sits, the more effectively it will do this. The amount of time the cleaning solution should sit will depend on the type of cleaning solution being used and the extent of the urine stain. Generally, it should sit for at least 5 minutes, but it can be left for up to 15 minutes. Avoid scrubbing the area while the cleaning solution is sitting as it may cause the urine to be pushed deeper into the surface, making it harder to remove the smell and stain. After the cleaning solution has sat for the appropriate amount of time, you can proceed to the next step. Step 4. Scrub the area with a stiff brush or sponge. Scrubbing the area with a stiff brush or sponge helps to remove the stain and any remaining odor-causing bacteria. After the cleaning solution has been allowed to sit for several minutes, use a stiff brush or sponge to scrub the area thoroughly. The brush or sponge should be stiff enough to remove the stain, but not so stiff that it damages the surface. Be sure to focus on the edges and corners of the affected area, where urine is likely to have collected. It's important to use a clean brush or sponge for this step to avoid spreading bacteria or dirt from other areas. If the urine stain is particularly stubborn, you may need to repeat this step a few times to fully remove the stain. As you scrub the area, you will notice the cleaning solution and urine coming off the surface and getting trapped in the brush or sponge. Rinse the brush or sponge frequently in clean water and wring it out before continuing to scrub the area. 
This will prevent the cleaning solution and urine from drying on the surface and creating a new stain. Step 5. Rinse the area with clean water. After scrubbing the area with a stiff brush or sponge, it's important to rinse the area thoroughly with clean water to remove any remaining cleaning solution. This will help prevent any residue from being left behind, which could lead to further smell. You can use a spray bottle to apply the clean water and a clean cloth or sponge to wipe the surface. Be sure to rinse the area thoroughly, paying special attention to the edges and corners where urine is likely to have collected. It's important to use clean water for this step. If you use water that is dirty or contains bacteria, it could lead to further smell or staining. Rinsing the area with clean water will also remove any remaining urine and cleaning solution, which will help to prevent any new stains or odors from forming. This step is essential to fully remove the urine, cleaning solution, and bacteria that cause the smell, and is a crucial step to make sure the area is completely clean and ready for the next steps. Step 6. Dry the area thoroughly. After rinsing the area with clean water, Dry the area thoroughly to prevent mold growth and future smell. This can be done by using a clean towel or a fan. 1. Using a clean towel Wipe the area with a clean, dry towel to remove any remaining water. Be sure to wring out the towel frequently to prevent spreading the urine or cleaning solution. It's important to use a clean towel to avoid spreading bacteria or dirt from other areas. 2. Using a fan If the area is large or hard to reach with a towel, you can use a fan to dry the area. This will help to circulate the air and speed up the drying process. Make sure the area is completely dry before proceeding to the next steps. If the area is not dry, it can lead to mold growth and future smell. Also, if you are dealing with a carpet or a mattress, it is crucial to make sure that it is completely dry as well. You can use a fan or a dehumidifier to help with this task. To use a fan, just place it to face the carpet or mattress and turn it on. To use a dehumidifier, do these steps. A. Position the dehumidifier in the affected area, making sure that it is placed near the source of the moisture. B. Turn on the dehumidifier and set the humidity level between 40 to 50 percent. C. Monitor the humidity level with a hygrometer and adjust the settings on the dehumidifier as needed. D. Allow the dehumidifier to run for at least 24 hours or until the humidity level in the area reaches the desired level. E. Once the humidity level has reached the desired level, turn off the dehumidifier and unplug it. Examples of dehumidifiers you can use include 1. Frigidaire 70 Pint Dehumidifier This dehumidifier is capable of removing up to 70 pints of moisture per day and is Energy Star rated for energy efficiency. It has a digital display, a 24-hour timer, and a full tank alert system. It also has a built-in pump option that allows for continuous draining of the unit. 2. H Home Labs 4,500 Square Feet Energy Star Dehumidifier This dehumidifier has a high-capacity design that can remove up to 50 pints of moisture per day and is suitable for large spaces up to 4,500 square feet. It has a digital humidistat, automatic shutoff, and a washable air filter. It also has a continuous drain option and a built-in pump. 3. Keystone KST AD50B Energy Star Dehumidifier This dehumidifier can remove up to 50 pints of moisture per day and is Energy Star rated for energy efficiency. It features a digital humidistat, a 24-hour timer, and a full tank alert system. It also has a built-in pump option and a continuous drain option. Step 7. Use an odor neutralizing product. You can use any of a number of odor neutralizing products. Here are some examples. 1. Activated Charcoal Activated charcoal is a natural odor absorber that can be placed in the affected area to absorb any remaining odor. It works by absorbing the molecules, not absorbing, that cause the odor, neutralizing it. 
2. Commercial Odor Neutralizer There are also commercial odor neutralizers that can be used, like sprays or powders that are designed to neutralize urine odor. It's important to follow the instructions of the product you are using. Some products may need to be left on for a certain amount of time, while others may need to be wiped or vacuumed up. Examples of commercial odor neutralizers you can try include A Zero Odor Pro Commercial Strength Odor Eliminator This odor eliminator is a trigger spray that is made with a non-toxic formula and is designed to quickly and effectively neutralize odors in commercial spaces. It is great for bathrooms, gyms, restaurants, and other areas where odors can be a problem. B. Echolab Odor Control Solutions Echolab Odors Control Solutions are designed to target and eliminate odors in three ways. Neutralizing, encapsulating, and absorbing. They are ideal for restrooms, locker rooms, and other areas that generate odors. C. Funk Away Odor Eliminating Spray this spray is designed to quickly and effectively eliminate odors in commercial spaces. It works by breaking down odor molecules on contact and leaving behind a pleasant scent. It is great for areas such as locker rooms, bathrooms, and other areas where odors can be a problem. Using an odor neutralizing product is an important step in getting rid of urine smell. This is because it helps to neutralize any remaining smell that may still be present after cleaning and drying the area. Step 8. Call the professionals. If you have tried these steps outlined and the urine smell persists or the area is heavily soiled, it may be necessary to call in a professional cleaner. Step 9. Prevent future urine smells. To prevent future urine smells, do the following. 1. Clean regularly. Regular cleaning and vacuuming will help to remove dirt, dust, and bacteria that can contribute to odor. This is especially important for areas like toilets, carpets, and upholstery that are more likely to come into contact with urine. 2. Address Leaks If there is a leaky pipe, it should be addressed promptly to prevent leakages that leave your space smelling horrible. 3. Use a waterproof mattress or furniture protector Using a waterproof mattress or furniture protector will help protect your mattress and upholstery from urine accidents. 4. Teach your kids good bathroom habits. Teaching your kids good bathroom habits, such as going to the bathroom before bedtime, can help reduce the likelihood of accidents. 5. Use a urinal cake or odor neutralizer. These products are specifically designed to neutralize and mask urine odors. They can be placed in the bottom of urinals or toilets to help prevent smells from escaping. 6. Ensure adequate ventilation. Proper ventilation in the bathroom can help to dissipate urine smells and prevent them from becoming overwhelming. This can be achieved by opening windows, using exhaust fans, or installing a vent in the bathroom. 7. Manage incontinence. Provide incontinence management products such as adult diapers and pads for people who have difficulty controlling their urine. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.